Hey, what's happening, guys? I got an email over the weekend from a guy named Eric who was telling me about all the different electronics channels he watches. Uh, probably the same ones you watch, because I know they're the same ones I watch. I mean, he watches Great Scott, and he watches Big Clive, and Julian, and Kangaroo Dave, uh, the Deaf Palm. You know, these great, great channels. And he said that he, he's enjoying learning this stuff, and he wants to get into it more, but he has a very limited budget. He's a young guy just out of high school and uh, he's kind of frustrated that he can't get all the toys that he sees on these channels playing with so that he can get deeper into electronics and then he also said something which, which really touched me and he said he emails a lot of these creators and nobody ever emails them back or answers their comments well that's going to change today I'm going to answer your email as best as I can I try and answer just about everybody, even you know, even if I just give you a heart or say hi, you know, I read everything. So, one of the things that he said was that he sees a certain creator who's harping on the cheap Chinese uh, multimeters. Well, they're they're fine. I've done a ton of videos. Um, if you want to really get into multimeters, watch Joe Smith's videos on multimeters. But you don't need to spend a fortune on a multimeter. Here are four multimeters. And the most expensive one among them, the Fluke, is not the best choice out of this group. You just want to get into it. The best choice you see out of this group here is the Anang 8008, and I'm going to tell you why as we get into it in a minute. So the next thing he said was well, he liked to really have an oscilloscope, but he can't afford to ch chuck out 250 bucks even for the cheapest hand tech. Again, you don't have to. There is a hand tech 6022BE. Yeah, 6022BE. That's like 70 bucks. But you don't have to go that route either. If you can solder, there's the DSO 138. Oh, excuse me, for about $20. If you can't solder or you don't want to solder, there is the DSO Shell 150, which we're going to take a look at here today, for about $40. And then there's a $15 electronic load so I mean just put that one aside you don't need that to start for $60 you can start yourself a pretty good electronic lab what about a signal generator you got a phone I know you got a phone you can download a free signal generator app for your phone and we're going to put all this together here today and show you how for about 60 bucks you can put together a nice little get started electronics lab. Oh, power supply. What about a power supply? You get one for free. Here is a slab, a sealed lead acid battery, a 12 volt battery. This one happens to be a 7 amp hour. Public buildings use these in their emergency exit lighting and they have to replace them and they throw them out. Ask around. They're usually perfectly fine. They're just expired by their date and required by fire code to get rid of them. All right. Let's start with the signal generator. Google Play or uh, the Apple, whatever it's called, store. Just Google free signal generator. This one's just called Signal Generator. Yeah, you can choose the type of waveform you want. You can choose the frequency and the volume. <whistles> Nothing to it. So there's your free frequency generator. Next up, multimeter. The Anang 8008. Now the 8009 is out there too, but I'm gonna I'm gonna recommend you go with this one because it also has a square wave generator. 
I think it was from 50 to, uh... Where'd we end up? 50 to 5,000 hertz. It's very accurate. Like I said, it's about $20. And then next is this guy here. This is the uh, DSO Shell 150, which is a neat little handheld oscilloscope. Let's open it up and take a look inside. I'm pretty sure it's based on an STM32 chip, but we'll find out for sure. Let me remove the four tiny little screws holding the case together. That off. The trim panel there. Come on, baby, come on out. Come out and play. Uh, one second. <clears throat> Hold on, I gotta be careful here. Okay, got it apart. Actually, comes apart quite nicely with a little header connector on there and yeah that's an STM32 connector very nice and you can see there's the front end we're not going to do a tear down of this today I mean it's just a microcontroller based oscilloscope but uh, this is a really nice product and the price is right I mean get it for like forty dollars so you saw the inside of this neat little device yes you know, palm sized comes with a set of uh, alligator clip leads you're gonna need a 9 volt power supply you can use a 9 volt battery um, or something along those lines it doesn't come with a power supply and it doesn't have a provision for an internal battery which is a little disappointing. I put the screen in crooked. That's why I'm kind of halfway laughing there. We can set our calibrator on there. And there you can see. Or maybe you can see. We zoom in there. Yeah. We've got a nice little signal there. Turned off a couple lights so that we can see better. I've got it hooked up to the phone signal generator. You can see we're putting in a square wave 644.1. It's reading about 645. Let's see. Volts per division. There we go. And trigger. I haven't learned quite how to use this yet, what the functions are. There we go. So we got our trigger. We got our nice sine wave. We can switch to a triangle wave. A funky triangle wave. That didn't come out so sweet, but hey, whatever, right? Uh, so we got a square wave. Even the square wave don't look beautiful. There's noise. You know, there's just a lot of nice stuff that you can do with it. So let me shut that off. There's even an audio signal. There's some YouTube free, copyright free, royalty free music. Sunshine in my heart by the Jingle Punks. And you can even check out, like I said, audio. Not bad for 40 bucks. So if we get that out of the way, you know, you pair these two things up. Oh, let me show you the, uh, the square wave generator on here. Couple that to DC mode. We'll clip our clips together. And 
let's see. There we go. A nice little setup. It'll get you going. You can do a lot. You can have a lot of fun with it for about 50 bucks. Don't get discouraged if you want to get into electronics and you're finding out that things might be out of your price range. Look around. There's always options. And if you have questions, ask. I'll do my best to answer them. All right, that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment and share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to the patrons. Big thanks to Eric for writing in. That's it. I'm out. Peace.